Hello everyone, myself is Dr. Sharad Giramkar, working in PDEH Anna Sahib Magar College, Hadapsar, Pune, India. In this video, I will explain study of starfish, that is Asteria ruvens, called as a sea star, in which classification of Asteria's ruvens, habit and habitat of sea star, external morphology, then digestive system, water vascular system and atotomy and regeneration. Dear friends, please keep watching till the end of this video and if you like this video, subscribe my channel and press like button and share this video to your friends. Dear friends, we will start the study of Asteria ruvens, in which first of all we will discuss about the classification. Asteria ruvens, that is starfish, belongs to kingdom Animalia, phylum Echinodermata, subphylum Eulutherozoa, class Asteroidea, order Forcipulata, family Asteridae, genus ruvens and species that we are going to discuss. We will discuss about the habit and habitat. The members of this species are found in all the all over the world in the ocean. They are extremely, so it is a aquatic found in the ocean itself. They are found in settled along the rocky shores on tropical coral reef, mud, sea grasses, tide pools, etc. The greatest diversity of species occur in coastal areas. They are solitary and avoid dark light. They gather at some place for the purpose of protection. They are nocturnal, slowly crawling, bottom dweller. They are carnivorous, feed mainly on small polychid, crustacea, mollusks and other ecotomes. They exhibit remarkable power of regeneration. Then we will discuss about the SSC means shape, size, color. They are radially symmetrical with pentamerous symmetry, symmetrical. The body consists of central disc. This one is called as a central disc <coughs> from which five elongated Arms are arranged. Arms are bordered at the base, broader at the base, tapered at the end. The size of adult starfish varies from 10 to 30 cm across. Starfish shows brilliant color while yellow, brilliant, brilliant colors while yellow to brown shaded in colors. Then we will discuss about the external morphology. <coughs> In case of the starfish, as it is a echinoderms, physical descriptions consist of the body of starfish has two surfaces. One is called as a oral surface and another is called as a aboral surface. We will discuss one by one. Oral surface. Oral surface is also called as actinate surface. It is the lower surface of body. It comprises of mouth, ambulacral groove, to fit, ambulacral spine, eyes and tentacles. First we will discuss one by one. In case of the mouth, mouth is a penta pentagonal aperture, aperture present in the central disc of oral surface. It is surrounded by soft membrane called as a peristoneal membrane. It is guarded by five groups or oral papillae or spines. This, this one is the structure of a mouth present in case of the oral surface. Along with, it consists of the ambulacral groove. This one is the structure of ambulacral groove. Now, these grooves are start from each angle of ambulacral, each angle of mouth and extend all along the median surface of oral surface of each arm. Then, at the oral surface, there is a presence of the 
to fit these are soft tubular thin walled structure present in each ambulacral groove these are present in four rows to fit functions as organ of locomotion respiration sense organ and also useful for food collection along with it consists of the ambulacral spines in case of the ambulacral spines ambulacral spines ambulacral grooves are guarded by means of the two or three rows of calcareous spines and these spines are large stouter aggregated into five groups some at each interradial of central disc called as a mouth papillae another row of spine are present at the border of oral and aboral surface along with on the oral surface there is a presence of sense organs these are five unpaired tentacle unpaired ten, terminal tentacles and five unpaired so it is eye, eye spots are present these tentacles are small medium non retractile and hollow structures present at the tip of each arm tentacle acts as a tactile and olfactory organ while eyes acts as a sensory organ that is the and they several eyes are there that is the several ocelli of the eyes are there and they are sensitive to light then we'll discuss about the aboral surface in case of the aboral surface it is present on the dorsal we can say it is a away from the substratum therefore these are called as a or the opposite to mouth therefore called as aboral opposite to mouth in case of the aboral surface it is also called as a abactinate surface it is convex it is a convex upper surface of the body it comprises of anus madreporate spines gills or also called as a papillary as well as the radiculari one we will discuss one by one the first of all anus anus is present at the center of the central disc on the aboral surface we can say it is at the middle of central disc then it consists of the madreporite this one is the structure of madreporite so these are highlight on over here it is a porous boat button shape structure present at the inter radius of the central disc or aboral surface the two arms between each madreporite are situated are called as a bivium these are the bivium and the remaining three arms are called as a trivium bivium and remaining are called as a trivium madreporite is a sieve like structure for a structure open into stone canal of water vascular system along with that the aboral surface consist of spines these are present on entire oral aboral body surface they are arranged in a irregular radial rows they are made up of calcareous plate called as a ossicles along with another structure that is a gill or papillae are present what are the gills gill or papillae are small hollow finger like projections present they are come out of the terminal pore so it is a skin pore present between the ossicle these are respiratory as well as the excretory in functions then along with it consists of the radiculari these are claw shaped structure with moveable jaws and are scattered on entire aboral surface of the body these are present between spines they are supposed to keep the body surface clean and clean from the growth of algae and bacteria these are present all over the body and which acts as a cleaning agent which acts as a that is a that structure which clean the growth of the microbial activity of organisms then next part of the this video that is a digestive system of starfish so this one is the schematic representation diagram of the digestive system of starfish we'll discuss one by one what it contains the digestive system consists of alimentary canal as well as the associated digestive glands in case of the alimentary canal 
Animally, alimentary canal consists of following parts mouth, then esophagus, stomach, intestine, and anus. We'll discuss one by one. First of all, mouth. It is present in the center of peristomial membrane of oral surface. It is provided with sphincter muscles. These muscles are capable of great extension and reduction. Mouth leads into the esophagus. Remember it well. Mouth is present on the oral surface. It is present at the lower surface. This one is the structure of anus. This we can say this one is the portion showing the aboral surface. Then mouth is present at the opposite to that portion. That is we can say it is a oral surface. Mouth leads into the next structure. Next structure called as esophagus. It is a short, wide, and vertical tube. Which open ab orally into the stomach, and that esophagus leads into the stomach. It is a ab oral. It is a broad sac occupying the inner portion of the central disc. It is divided into two parts. That is a cardiac stomach and pyloric stomach. Cardiac stomach and pyloric stomach. Now this one is the structure. See, this one is the cardiac stomach, and it leads into the formation of that green structure we can say it is a pyloric stomach pyloric stomach pyloric stomach ends into the leaf like structure called as a pyloric cecum is are the glandular structure now we'll discuss one by one stomach it is a, again broad divided into the cardiac and pyloric stomach the cardiac stomach it is five lobed muscular structure it consists of it come out of the through the mouth the it is a retractile structure brought about the five pairs of retractor muscles which arise from the lateral ambulacral groove then the pyloric stomach this one is the pyloric stomach in case of the pyloric stomach it is a small flat pentagonal sac each angle of pyloric stomach extend into the corresponding arm Where it form branch or structure called as a pyloric cecum or the pyloric pyloric cecum. Then the pyloric cecum or the hepatic cecum are also called as a gastric cecum. These hepatic cecum secrete digestive juice and store reserve food material. Then the intestine. It is a short. This one is the structure. It is a short, narrow. Five sided straight tube. It extends ab orally and open out at the anus. It gives off two to three hollow diverticula called rectal and intestinal cecum. The functions of intestinal cecum is not very known as it secretes brown fruit, fruit like or the it is a considered as a excretory organ. the last part of the intestine it's called rectum which open into the anus this one is the portion called as a intestine and intestine open into the say it is a recta and this one is called as a rectal cecum and that rectal cecum ends into the structure very fine structure small structure called as anus it is a small opening located eccentrically on the ab oral surface the intestine open into the anus small undigested food ejected out through the anus so these are the structures called as a part of the alimentary canal along with the associated digestive gland then we'll discuss about the food feeding and digestion in case of the starfish starfish is a carnivorous animal it feeds voraciously on crustacea by holds snails small sized starfishes and other echinoderms during feeding starfish come in contact with the by hol so it is a fray it arches over the it arches over the fray and with the help of to feed would open the two holes of the fray it pushes its inverted cardiac muscle stomach into the mental cavity of the fray The, car the cardiac stomach wraps around the intest 
around it, intestinal enzyme from pyloric sica are poured over the fray. Food is digested externally. When digestion is completed, stomach is withdrawn along with partially digested food material. Extra and intracellular digestion is carried out in case of the starfish in the stomach. The remaining digestion of the food material takes place in the stomach and remaining part it is a pyloric sica. The digested food is absorbed into the coelom completely in the coelom through the wall of digestive tract. Digested food is supplied to all parts of the body. Most of the digested food is thrown out through the mouth. Very small amount of undigested food is thrown out through anus. Therefore, intestine and the rectum of the starfish are small in small in size. So, this one is the structure, what it called digestive food feeding and digestion in case of the starfish. Then next part, <coughs> next part, then next part is water vascular system of starfish. Water vascular system of starfish. This one is a diagrammatic representation of water vascular system. Water vascular system of starfish is also called as a ambulacral system. It is a modified hydraulic system consists of canals filled with seawater lined with ciliated epithelial. Following are the parts of the water vascular system. These are it is a madreporite, stone canal, then ring canal. Pollen vesicles, radial canal, lateral canal, and tube fit. We will discuss one by one. First of all, say it is a madreporite. So, in case of the madreporite, it is a porous <coughs> but bottom button shaped structure present at interradial of the central canal on aboral surface. The two arms between which madreporite are situated called as a Bivium and remaining are called as a trivium. Madreporite is a sieve plate like porous structure contain 150 to 200 minute pores. Each pore leads into the say it is a S shaped structure called as a stone canal. All pore canals unite to form collecting canal which open into ampulla and ampulla open into stone canal. Then next part is a stone canal. That stone canal, it is a S-shaped structure supported by calcareous ring. The inner lining of stone canal is lined by flagellated epithelial cells. Stone canal extend orally and open into ring canal. Then we will discuss about the ring canal. It is located to the inner side of the peristomial ring present around the mouth. At each inner radius, it shows pollen vesicle. So, pollen vesicle, these are not present in case of the Asteria's rubet, pollen vesicle and Tidmon's body. These are the black dots showing here. These are the Tidmon's body. Nine Tidmon's body are there. We will discuss one by one. So, I already discussed about the pollen vesicles. These are five elongated, fear shaped muscular sac present in the inner lining of ring canal. It is believed that they store water and considered as a reservoir as well as the they produce amoebocyte. These are present in some asteroid group and are totally absent in the Asterias ruben and Asterias glacialis. Then <coughs> next is the ring canal. In case of the ring canal, ring canal gives off Five ciliated radial canals. These are the it gives us five ciliated radial canals, one in each arm. Each canal extends throughout ambulacral groove and terminate at terminal tubule. Then lateral canals. So, in case of the these are the lateral canal, say it is a radial canal, radial canal extend into the lateral canal. These are these are pair of pair of arise from the radial canal and 
each radial canal of the each arm each lateral canal is attached to the base of two feet the point of attachment the point of attachment is called as a present in case attachment contain walls to prevent back flow of water from to fit to say it is a lateral canal so this one is the lever called as a lateral canal this one is the two feet then <coughs> in case of the two feet these are thin wall elastic two feet called as a projection called on the, on the present on the oral side each two foot consist of two parts namely the ampulla and podium this one is the ampulla this one is the podium <coughs> the the ampulla is water filled sac with muscular wall the podium is muscular tube like structure tube like structure that come out of the body the podium ends with a sucker the two feet feed to feet are mainly used for the locomotion and respiration also then the functions of water vascular system as the water vascular system of starfish is hydraulic system it mainly used for the attachment locomotion food and waste transportation respiration food collection etc etc then we'll discuss about the last portion that is the <coughs> ectotomy and regeneration if an arm of starfish is held up or injured asterias usually cast it off near the base of arm this is called as ectotomy the opening at the base of injured arm is closed immediately by contraction of surrounding body wall muscle surrounding body wall muscles then regeneration of new arm is initiated at the place and regeneration is nothing but it is a type of asexual reproduction asterias have remarkable power of regeneration most of the species of starfish have the ability to regenerate an entire new limb from single arm while the other need at least part of the central disc this is about the ectotomy and regeneration thus we have covered external morphology digestive system water vascular system and ectotomy and regeneration